unam in tree. My native language from the deep of Ghana, West Africa means skin. When the letters of hunam are rearranged, you can almost see them trying to spell the word human. Literal translation, one's skin makes one human and it's funny. How my ancestors, never knowing a word of English, can put together a phrase, a simple remedy, a gentle anecdote for a little brown girl's salvation tonight. Let them tell it, brown girl. When they teach you about hunam in the blue-eyed classrooms of your schools, do they ever actually tell you that you are beautiful? Or do they just show you what it is? Do the pictured women in the Hall of Fame faces in the showcases displayed look like you? Are the halls as deep and as wide as a woman's spine? Do the arms of your study halls embrace you with this femininity? Are there words in your textbook like, like hunam, like, like amniotic love, like obaninen to watch her walk with grace? During lunchtime, do you hopscotch on the stretch marks of women who wore men skinned as deep as the night? No. Something in you breaks, though, doesn't it? Because this is the first time words speak louder than actions. You begin to crave validation, searching for ways to define your skin, flipping madly through magazine pages. Dipped in 1960s America, you can almost hear the dogs barking, smell the sharp water from hoses splitting flesh, until, until you see women like Lupita Nyong'o on the cover of a magazine. Then, and only then, is everything okay because, because she looks like you, right? And finally, finally, you found your definition of beauty, but, but let them tell it. You do not need a magazine cover to tell you that you are beautiful, brown girl. You are beautiful no matter your paper brown. Even the stars, stolen in their infinite grace, only show up at the darkest point of night, showing their faces, me and you. We're going to relearn what beauty really is because, because who taught you that the value of a woman is the ratio of her waist to her hips and the circumference of her buttocks and the volume of her lips? Your math is dangerously wrong. Her value is nothing less than infinite, like the galaxy, like the stars, like the night, like your skin, like Lupita's, like, like you weren't here before she got here. Like the only reason they look at you is because of her. Like, like the only reason black is beautiful is because of her. Like, like black been beautiful because of you. Like when will someone recognize you? Don't you see? You is this too, brown girl. What about you? And what about me? And what about us? And this war we've been fighting. Brown girls hurt and bleeding. Brown girls splitting skin, not knowing how to love themselves, breaking. And truthfully, I wish I was a poet so I could color the pain in these words with beautiful rhythm, because no one will believe you're beautiful until you think you are, until you feed it down people's throats. I see Lupita everywhere I go, staring at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, sitting at a small cafe in Brooklyn, on the streets of Accra, in the marketplaces of Dubai. But when will we sing songs for our daughters? Hide love poems deep within the hum of their lullabies and bedtime stories so that when they sleep, they won't lose themselves in the dark. When will we believe? And honestly, I know you listen to these poems, but in between the lines, deep within these words, look for you. Look at how your hunam shines, brown girl. Look for you. Thank you.